Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, October 25th, and I'm going to be vlogging this week, another week in the life as a physical therapy student. I just got ready and I'm about to head to my 8 a.m. neuro class, and Teddy is sitting on my lap because he doesn't want me to go. He just saw me set up his playpen and he's really sad, but I have neuro from 8 to 11.45 and then Oh no, 8 to 12.15 and then I'll have musculoskeletal this afternoon from 1.15 to 4.15 and I have a little quest in that class on the foot and ankle worth a little more than a quiz, a little less than a test. So that's exciting and I thought this would be a good week to vlog because there is a lot going on. I have my last week of clinical and it is my pelvic floor clinical so I wanted to talk to y'all about that a little bit on Wednesday and Kind of where my head is at as for future career paths in physical therapy so that'll be exciting stay tuned in this vlog if you want to hear what i'm thinking about doing after graduation and yeah i also have a competency thursday and a research quiz tomorrow so really busy week and i like vlogging when i have busy weeks to give you guys a realistic idea of what pt school is like so i'm gonna head to class and i'll talk to y'all at lunch so I'm home from class for my lunch break. I just made some avocado toast and I'm at my desk reviewing my notes because I have my foot and ankle quest in a half hour here for my musculoskeletal class. Neuro this morning was pretty good. We did a little, little bit of lecture and then we worked through the neuro exam, working through cases because we currently are in our stroke unit. So just going over how you do an evaluation of a patient post-stroke. So that was pretty fun. I am really tired, so I'm drinking a Diet Coke to get my energy levels up a little bit. And after class, I think I'm going to go right to the gym and food shopping because I have a lot to do tonight. I had a busy weekend this weekend, so I wasn't able to do a lot of my errands. So I'm going to try to knock that out right after class and then get working because I have a busy week, like I said. But I'm going to study and take my quest, and I'll talk to y'all after class. Hey guys, it is currently 6 o'clock and I'm home from Aldi and I know I said I was going to work out but honestly I'm exhausted and it's a Monday and I am not making it to the gym so instead I'm about to walk Teddy probably a mile and a half or so with one of his little dog friends that lives in my neighborhood and I think that will kind of get my energy up and get my blood pumping so I can get some work done. I just submitted one little homework assignment I had mostly done over the weekend but had to finalize a little bit and upload that and then I'm gonna start working on my geriatrics project tonight which is due next week but this weekend's Halloween so I want to kind of get that done and out of the way and then my boyfriend may or may not come over later tonight to be my patient so I can practice a little bit for my competency but that all depends time wise how far I get with my project and I also have a research quiz tomorrow I need to study a little for as well so that's the rundown. I'm going to walk Teddy and then hopefully have some energy to do a little bit more school work today. It's quite a bit later and unfortunately when I was walking Teddy, we only made it about three minutes before it started torrentially downpouring. So that explains my hair. I had to throw it up because it was super wet after that. But I've just been working on my geriatrics project since then and it is on the physiology of aging and we all were assigned a system. So I have the integumentary system and I just basically have to create a presentation talking about changes that happen to skin as we age. And honestly, it's pretty interesting, like, learning how your skin evolves from being, like, a neonate all the way through when you die. So I'm just currently reading through my textbook and researching a little bit, trying to put that together. My boyfriend's coming over in about an hour to be my patient, like I mentioned before. So I'm not sure how much more I'm going to vlog tonight, but tomorrow I have another full day of class from 8 to 4.15, so if I don't update y'all today, I will definitely update you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, today is Tuesday and I'm about to head to class. I was up way too late last night, not doing schoolwork, but watching Netflix. I started the third season of You and I just couldn't stop watching it, so I was up pretty late, so I am a little tired, but I just had an ice and a latte and a bagel so hopefully that'll get some energy in me. I feel like I keep saying that in this vlog but the struggle is real. I need a break. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Counting down the days quite literally 
but I think I'm gonna have a pop quiz in my geriatrics class this morning so I spent the last 20 minutes kind of reviewing my notes while I ate and had my coffee so I'll let y'all know if you actually do have a quiz but that'll be from 8 to 10 and then I have prosthetics till 11:45, and then I'll be home for lunch so pretty busy day I do have class till 3 15 and then I have a bunch of stuff on the schedule for tonight so I'll take y'all along with me for lunch and we actually did not have a pop quiz in my geriatrics class which I'm kind of sad about because we have to have five the whole semester so we're gonna have one sometime and I actually studied and was prepared today so I was kind of upset we didn't have it and then so we just ended up lecturing on nutrition and then in my prosthetics class we just started our orthotics unit because we just had an exam over the prosthetic section which was in my last vlog if you watched that so just going over some basic components of orthotics and then I have research after lunch but I got a notification that a package came in and I was confused because I didn't order anything and I realized it's one of my birthday gifts because if you didn't know my birthday is next week November 5th and my family lives in Pennsylvania so my mom typically will like ship me gifts for my birthday which is so sweet and so nice and she does not have to do that at all not my mom when I say my mom I mean my whole family mom dad brothers if you're watching this Thank you. Love you all. But it is a skincare fridge. And it's from Amazon. I will link it down below. And I'm going to set this up because I do have a little bit of time. We have a little bit of a longer lunch today. But I've been wanting a skincare fridge for a while because I've been trying to get into a better skincare routine. Just as a little self-care thing to do every single night because I think it's important to just take some time for yourself every single day to do something that betters yourself, whether that be working out or a nice skincare routine, meditation, whatever works for you, but I've been really into having a nice skincare routine recently. So I'm going to open this up and set it up in my bathroom and I'll show y'all when it's done. So she's all set up. I just put my Drunk Elephant minis over here, the moisturizer I use, lip scrub, face mask, hydrating serum, and I just think it's really cute and it's supposed to make your skincare products last longer if you didn't know and just feel more good and relaxing because the products are cold and such. I'm going to head to class now and I'll talk to y'all after. Morning guys, happy Wednesday. It is currently 7.20 and I'm about to run to clinical because I have to be there by 8. So I don't have very much time to talk but I will update y'all after and let you know how the day went. I'm just wearing this top from Ann Taylor Loft with this little black cardigan and black dress pants because it's always freezing in there. So I'm gonna grab my bag and head to clinical and I'll talk to y'all this afternoon. Hello guys, it is currently about six o'clock and I just got home from my day of my pelvic floor clinical and I just am in the best mood. Going to clinical always just makes me so happy and like inspires me to keep working hard and just kind of seeing where I'm gonna be at one day and that my hard work is going to pay off eventually. I am going to talk a little bit more about what I'm thinking in terms of career in women's health and pelvic floor physical therapy, but my boyfriend just texted me that he's here and we're going to get some dinner, so I'm going to run and do that and then I will update y'all literally in the next clip with my thoughts on my future as a physical therapist. I know I'm leaving y'all in such suspense, but I'm starving so I'm going to eat and then I'll talk to y'all in a sec. So I just got out of the shower and I'm going to head to sleep pretty soon here, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how my clinical was since today was my last day. If you are new on my channel, my program is eight semesters and it is a doctor of physical therapy program. And the first five semesters are primarily just classwork and we do have like short-term clinical experiences where we go a few times during the semester just to get the opportunity to work with some real patients and kind of see where our interests are. And then the last three semesters of our program are three 12 week long clinicals. So we already had to submit rankings and know where we're going for the first two placements. So my first one will just be an outpatient ortho and my second one is going to be in acute care. But the third and final clinical rotation is usually for kind of like a more specialty clinic like pediatrics or neuro or pelvic floor. So that's basically the setup of my school program, but through this short-term experience, again, like I said, the goal is just kind of trying to figure out what you like. And I originally got interested in pelvic floor physical therapy because one of my mom's good friends is a pelvic floor physical therapist, so I had the opportunity to shadow her in college, and I thought it was super cool. And I also was a global health minor in college, so I took a women's health class and learned a lot about women's health, and I've just always kind of had an interest in it. And I love 
little babies and I love moms and I just I love that whole vibe and obviously pelvic floor is more than just working with pregnant women but that is a part of it which is exciting and if you have been a subscriber on my channel you know that for a while I have been torn between pediatrics and women's health because those are very similar and I've come to realize that I don't have to choose because I know that I'm going to be a mom one day, I'm going to have kids of my own, so even if I'm not working with kids every single day, I'm still going to be around kids and there's other ways to kind of fulfill my passion and love for children than just treating them in physical therapy and with pelvic floor physical therapy I'll still be able to treat moms and a lot of the times they bring in their babies to appointments and it's very, it's very closely related and if I ever decide I do want to do pediatrics I always can just switch gears and pursue that but where my heart is right now is pelvic floor and women's health physical therapy so what my plan is I started looking at courses because if you want a pelvic clinical at least for my school and I feel like most schools in order to get one you need to do a level one pelvic health course on your own time because that's not something that you're taught in school like how to do internal exams so I've been looking at Herman and Wallace and APTA because ideally I would like to take the course this summer but it all just depends where and when they're provided and by who and I think I'm gonna make a whole separate video on kind of how to get a pelvic floor clinical once hopefully I get one hopefully it all works out I'm crossing my fingers because I just am so happy and leaving today I just was in the best mood and felt so fulfilled and like I really could see myself doing this for the rest of my life so it was a good day and even though I had a lot of work to do tonight just having such a good day at clinical like really made me realize my why and why I'm doing this and why I am killing myself every single day from the time I wake up to the second my head hits the pillow, dedicated to physical therapy, and it is to help these women that have been underserved for so, so long. So, yay! If you, if any of you have any, any questions at all about pelvic floor PT or women's health PT, please comment them down, down below. I'd love to chat with you guys more about it, but I'm going to head to sleep now because I do have a competency and a quiz tomorrow, and I'm sleepy after a long day. So, I will talk to y'all in the morning. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I'm about to head to class and I have neuro from eight to 10 and then I have my competency after that at 10.15 and I'm feeling really nervous and I don't know why because it's literally just a skills check performing two skills so I shouldn't be nervous but I'm just trying to be confident and know that I've studied and practiced and prepared so I'm trying to have a little bit of confidence in myself and then I'll be home from lunch for an hour and then I have musculoskeletal this afternoon from 1 to 4.15. So, very busy day. I'm going to take y'all along with me and I probably won't talk to y'all until I'm home for lunch. So I will let you guys know how my comp goes. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's on the low back, um, hip, pelvis, and knee. And we are doing two skills that we've learned for those regions. So, let's go rock this competency. So I'm home for lunch, my competency went well, I had lumbar CPA glides and the Lachman's test as my two skills and I did them pretty well, I got a 90 so I'm happy with that. Now I'm home for lunch and like I said it is PT school Halloween and I'll insert a picture here but I dressed up as the phases of the gate cycle with a few people in my class basically just taping the phase of the gate cycle to our shirts and then acting it out. So I'm home for lunch now and I do have a quiz after lunch on the knee. And then we're starting to move into our hip and ankle unit. So yeah, tonight I'm going to be very lazy and not do much of anything because we only have a few hours of class tomorrow, no quizzes, no tests, no competencies, nothing to do. So in my mind, tonight is the weekend, so I'm just going to study for this one last little quiz and talk to y'all after class. So I'm home from class and I just walked Teddy with one of my friends and her dogs. Now I'm going to head to Kroger and get a few yummy groceries because I am cooking a meal tonight since I finally have some time. I'm going to have a nice healthy meal, some self-care, and just relax tonight. I do need to submit my documentation from clinical tomorrow, but that shouldn't take long at all. And then I'll be in my bed watching Dance Moms. So, may vlog, may not, who knows. Also might start editing this vlog, but if I don't update y'all tonight, I will update you tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is Friday, thank god I am exhausted and this has been a super long week so I am excited and we also only have class till 11.45 today which is because we 
have geriatrics in the afternoon and we typically either have asynchronous modules but today we actually just have time to work on a project so I probably will work on that a little bit but done class 11:45, which is exciting and then I have a chiropractor appointment at 3 30 because I started getting adjustments for my neck because I just I'm always sitting and hunched over and studying and my neck hurts so yeah I'm gonna head to class. We just have neuro this morning from 8 to 11.45, so I'll let y'all know what we do after. Hey guys, so I just got back from neuro and we spent the morning working on the stroke exam again, just running through cases and perfecting that. Now I'm home, I'm about to head and get some lunch and then work on some homework until it's time for my chiropractor appointment at 3.30. And then after that, I'm going to meet up with my boyfriend and some friends and watch the Braves game tonight because they are in the World Series. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this vlog here because I need to edit and set it to upload for tomorrow morning and I'm gonna be out all night. So I'm sorry y'all can't come with me, but that is what I'm doing tonight. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and staying tuned in for another week in my life as a doctor of physical therapy student. I try to post every single Saturday at 11 a.m. So if you're not a, if you are not subscribed, you totally should subscribe down below because I'd love to have you here on my channel for my physical therapy school journey. And I love you all so much and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye friends!